a friend of mine one day says, listen, I'm an environmentalist, should I stop eating fish? And uh, I said, well, if you stop eating fish, what are you going to eat? And he said, well, I'm not a vegetarian, I'd eat more beef, chicken, and pork. And that got me looking at the scientific literature on the relative impacts of fish versus beef, chicken, and pork. And in many dimensions, fish are great. First, you don't need any fresh water, you don't use any antibiotics, you don't use any pesticides or chemicals or fertilizer. Uh, you do generate carbon, uh, but many fisheries are much lower carbon than chicken or beef or pork. It's basically when the fish aggregate in big numbers and you can just go out and scoop them up that you can catch them with very little uh, energy used and therefore produce very little carbon. In the transition of, of so many conscious consumers choosing plant-based rather than, you know, traditional meat proteins like beef, pork, chicken, etc. Part of the reason that seafood got passed over is because it's not understood, but a lot of these plant-based products don't deliver nutritionally and environmentally the promises that they're making the consumer. And when you look at a wild-caught sustainable fish, you have a product that's produced with no agricultural resources, no fresh water use, um, no land conversion, a lower carbon footprint than even tofu. And a lot of people don't understand that, I think. People seem much more concerned about reducing the number of fish in the ocean than they do about the impacts of farming on land. You know, we have converted most of North America to food production systems by completely transforming the ecosystem. The Great Plains are no longer a wild grassland supporting buffalo. They're a bunch of farms growing wheat and corn. <laughs> uh, and that seems to be good. That's the amber waves of grain. So why is it that catching salmon in Alaska or pollock or arrowtooth flounder is somehow uh, destroying the environment. <laughs> the idea that there is a way to produce food on any kind of a large scale without killing animals is totally mythical. The average American isn't eating the wide range of potential seafood species that are available um, and actually probably haven't even had really fresh seafood. And this is why you have a lot of people who don't like seafood. And that leads to, again, a culture that's largely, you know, consuming beef, pork, chicken, you know, and with a little bit of seafood. So how do we create a culture that embraces seafood more? We need to refocus and think about fisheries as a food production system. Uh, and a food production system that in many dimensions is very, very low impact and very high nutrition. And maintaining that production system is important to global human food supply.